Hey everybody, John Carrier here with the Putzmeister Academy here at Putzmeister America. In this series of videos, we'll be going over our new Sony product line, including some of its new features and benefits. So come with us as we take a look. So here we are at the Sony control panel to take a look at the new SYLD. SYLD stands for Sony Liquid Display. Here on our home screen, we have all of our live data. First and foremost at the top, we have the date and time, as well as the serial number. On the left-hand side here, we have our output from zero to 100. This will match your output control on your radio remote. Right-hand side, we have our stroke times. So this will be how many strokes per minute. Bottom left, we have our rotation indicator. Right now it's at zero, of course, because the boom is in the boom rest. The Sony from zero, you can rotate 360 degrees either direction. Bottom right hand side, we have our operating pressure, our M1 pressures. In the middle, we have our RPM. Right here, we have a level indication. So this is an inclination sensor. It has a, an electronic in inclination sensor. Back on top, we have some of our uh, forced options, enforced pumping, enforced fan, enforced rotation. If those were active, they would be highlighted red. And of course, we have our local control, our low pressure. So currently we're in our low pressure mode and we are in local control. On the bottom of the screen, you can see it is rotating through some faults. We have not cleared e-stop, so it is rotating through all e-stop related faults. Anytime you have a fault, the fault will be displayed in red at the bottom of the screen here. Also right here we have the readout for our hydraulic temperature. On the side we have some operating lights. On top we have of course our power light. Once we were to shift our box into pump, our green light would be illuminated. And of course we have our outrigger spotlights. All right, you can see on the side, we have six push buttons. If we go to F1, which is labeled info, we have a few different menu options here. First and foremost, we have device information. If we click OK on device information, it gives us again our serial number, also our software versions. You see our SYMC has this software in it, our SYLD has this software. If we go to next, you can see your initial parameters. This is what is set at the factory. These cannot be changed. We scroll down one to IO status. This is a great menu. This gives you all of your inputs and outputs into the control box and out of the control box. Um, you can see here, if you have a blue dot, that is a successful input. Or if we switch over to outputs, you have a successful output here. This is great for troubleshooting. Go down one, we have electric uh, current. Here you can see things like your oil temperature, your agitator pressure, and things like the milliamps to your main pump coils. We've got boom conditions. Here, if the truck was outfitted with angle sensors and pressure sensors on the boom, you would see their um, readouts here. Also in real time as you're operating the boom, you will see milliamps to the boom control block here in real time system conditions. Here you'll see your pump time, your standby time, uh, cumulative cubes pumped, things like that. And then of course menu for engineer uh, would be password protected for uh, service engineers to access. So if we go back to our home page, if we were to hit F2, we can change the language. Here we have our forced options. You can see here we have our oil level limit switch. If you have an issue with a failed oil level limit switch and the truck is sounding an alarm telling you that your oil level is too low, you can verify by the sight gauge and you can turn this on to bypass the sensor. Anti-interference protection, that's again if the boom is outfitted with angle sensors and pressure sensors and you have an issue with one of those sensors, you can bypass them there. Enforced pumping, if you lose truck RPM, you can turn that on and continue pumping. Enforced fan, this would be if the truck is telling you that you're overheating 
but you verify that you are not, you can enforce your fan that will default the fan to on and allow you to keep going. Enforced rotation, this would be if you lose your uh, slew resolver, uh, meaning that the boom position is not being calculated correctly. You can come in here and turn your enforced rotation on and continue pumping. When you do that, you will have to keep up with the boom placement yourself. The truck will no longer keep up with the boom placement. All right, thank you for following along with us while we discuss the new Sony product line. If you have any further questions, please reach out to us via the 1-800 number or the Putzmeister website. For more Putzmeister Academy content, please make sure to subscribe to the Putzmeister YouTube channel.